again, my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 15th of March, 2019. Just read an article on ABC News and watched an embedded video. You might want to take the time, it's most interesting. The title of this uh, article is New Details Emerged About Boeing 737 MAX 8 Flight's Final Moments. Analysis of the flight data from the fatal crash began early Friday. You know what's interesting is it's being analyzed in France, not in the United States, and in Germany. You ever wonder why? And the United States asked to have them sent to them. Think about that. Analysis of the flight data and cockpit voice recorder from the Ethiopian airline flight 302 began Friday in Paris, the airline said beginning a process that could provide new clues about what caused the crash that killed 157 people aboard the Boeing 737 MAX 8 Sunday and resulted in nearly worldwide grounding of the aircraft until its safety is confirmed. Investigators are looking into the MAX 8 autopilot functions and the training of the pilots who flew the plane as well as mechanical parts of the control system that alters the up and down movement of the plane's nose. An aviation source told ABC News senior transportation correspondent David Curley, the mechanism called the jack screw is a threaded rod in the tail section of the aircraft that affects the plane's stability. A jack screw malfunction was a factor in the cause of another fatal crash in 2000 when an Alaska airline plane nosedived into the Pacific Ocean off the coast of Los Angeles. In that instance, the fault was due to the mechanics. That jack screw wasn't lubricated properly, or lubricated at all. Air traffic controllers said they noticed the Ethiopian airline flight pitching up and down hundreds of feet before it crashed, according to a New York Times report Thursday night. The captain called in a panicked voice to ask to return to the airport, but the plane disappeared off the radar just minutes later, the Times reported. Public data from Flight Radar 24 also showed the plane accelerated to high abnormal speeds through the reason was unclear. The new details could help fill out the picture of the plane's final moments. Data from the black box devices in the house, the flight data and cockpit voice recorders not only will provide further guidance for investigators, but also some first answers for the families of the victims. The NTSB, an independent U.S. agency that investigates transportation accidents and issues widely respected safety recommendations, also sent three additional investigators to assist in the analysis. The Boeing 737 MAX 8 was involved in another deadly crash in Indonesia in October that killed 189 people. Key questions surrounding apparent similarities in the two plane trajectories, both of which oscillated up and down before crashing within minutes of takeoff, have caused about 40 countries to ground the Boeing 737 MAX as a precautionary measure. Once they start reading out their recorders, they'll know fairly quickly what it is. Is this a repeat of Lion Air, or is this something different? Tom Howder a former NTSB investigator and ABC News correspondent told Curley on Good Morning America Fridays. Still, the 737 MAX may not be back in the skies until late April, FAA Acting Administrator Daniel Uhl told lawmakers in a briefing Thursday. According to congressional aid, Boeing is implementing a software fix developed after the October crash and pilots will need to be retrained on it, Uhl said according to the aid. A major question in the Ethiopian air crash whether the software, the plane's autopilot system, might have played a role in the Ethiopian airline crash, as it seemed to have done in the fatal crash of the Indonesian Lion Air 737 MAX 8. In that crash, it appears the pilot failed to disengage the autopilot when the plane's nose began pitching up and down, perhaps because they were unaware of how to do so. Some pilots have complained that the information to disengage autopilots was not readily available, and others have raised concern about the adequacy of the training process. I want you to pay special attention to that little attached video, the embedded video, and you're going to hear what a captain says. And what he said, I thought, was frightening. He said there are components 
both electric and mechanical components on these aircraft that aren't even in the manuals. They don't even know what they do or what they're for. That's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. Representative Peter DeFazio, the chairman of the House Transportation Infrastructure Committee, announced after the briefing from UL that he would be conducting a rigorous investigation to make sure that FAA is carrying out its critical safety mission. Until investigators are able to retrieve and analyze information in the black boxes, it's difficult to know precisely what went wrong. Nevertheless, I continue to have serious concerns about key decisions made in the FAA's certification of the 737 MAX and what was and was not disclosed to pilots. That's exactly what I just said. They've got systems on those airplanes that aren't even in their manuals. DeFazio, a Democrat from Oregon, said in a statement Friday, at least 250 flights per day in the U.S. typically using Boeing 737 MAX aircraft, according to Flight Trader 24, the MAX fleet in the U.S. are operated by American Airlines, Southwest, and United. Because of the grounding, it is estimated at least 43,000 passengers each day will have to be rerouted on different planes. All right, folks, this whole thing is totally insane. I also did a video and I talked about the United States Air Force not accepting delivery of the new tankers. And the reason being is that there's components, used tools, old tools, new tools, garbage, other pieces flying around inside the aircraft that are delivered. And what I thought was real telling is Boeing is looking at laying off a thousand inspectors. You think maybe these inspectors are allowing these kinds of events to occur because they know they're going to get laid off? That's totally crazy. Absolutely insane. Hopefully we'll get more detailed information as the black boxes continue to be analyzed. If you hear anything on this subject matter, please let me know. And needless to say, I'll do the same. Thanks for listening. The link will be attached. Please watch the video. It's most telling.